Hey, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to Markdown on your Mac. Markdown is a simple syntax that lets you write plain text documents that can be converted to other formats like HTML or rich text format. There's been a great ecosystem of apps designed for writing Markdown on your Mac in the last few years. The one I'm using here is Byword, and I write all my tutorials for Tuts Plus. In it. The markdown syntax is really easy. It's designed to be easy to write and easy to read even if you don't actually understand it. It's based around HTML so a document written in markdown will take the same structure as a document that's written in HTML. A document obviously starts with a header and the symbol in markdown to create a header is the hash or the pound symbol. To get that on your Mac you use the option 3 keyboard shortcut. A single pound symbol is a header one, whereas if you use more than one you get a header of that number. So if I used three, that would be a header three, and if I used six, that would be a header six. Obviously you'll need the depth of CSS code to support all these headers if you're going to use them. Lines and spaces can have semantic meaning in Markdown. So to create a new paragraph, all you do is leave a line between two paragraphs of text. So if I wanted to start a paragraph, I go this is this is a paragraph. If I hit return once, this is also part of the paragraph. However, para However, if I leave a line in between, this is a new paragraph. Lists of items are really easy to create with Markdown. All you do is you use a symbol, either an asterisk or a hyphen, and leave a space and then enter what you want. So this is a list. Double return to exit from the autocomplete there. Could also use hyphens, as I said. So this is also a list. Double return to exit from the autocomplete again. Adding links with Markdown is really easy. You use square brackets followed by regular brackets. So this is the link text. So the square brackets, that's what will be the link anchor text, followed by regular brackets or parentheses with the actual URL. So we'll send this to tutsplus.com, close the brackets, and that's the link added. Finally, you can also emphasize or strongly emphasize text with Markdown really easily. You use either asterisks or underscores to symbolize it. A single asterisk or underscore does emphasis, whereas a double asterisk or underscore does strong emphasis. So if we go with single asterisk, so we get emphasis. And if we wanted to do double asterisk, we get strong emphasis. And as I said, it also works with underscores and double, uh, double underscores, so strong emphasis. Now, if we look back over the document, I'm sure you'll agree that this is really easy to read. You wouldn't even think this is some sort of language. It looks nothing like the ugly angle brackets of a HTML document. And for that reason, I actually leave a lot of things that I write just in Markdown. If I'm writing journal entries or notes for myself or things like that, I just write it in Markdown and leave it as is, knowing that it's easy to read and that things like headers and lists are easily differentiated. If you do need to then convert it into rich text or HTML with Byword, it's super simple. You just go to File and then Export and then Copy HTML or Copy the Rich Text. You can also preview the markdown which can be quite useful and as you can see header 1, 3, 6 gradually decreasing in size. This paragraph, this is a new paragraph, there's the unordered list, there's the link, there's our emphasis and strong emphasis, and we can also copy the HTML straight from the preview here. Press escape to exit that and go back into editing it. So this is just a quick overview of the Markdown syntax and just using it here in Byword. Check out the rest of the tutorial below 
to find out more information about Markdown, why you should be using Markdown, and some more apps that allow you to use it.